I think it's recording now. Sounded like it. I hope so. Better be. Can you all hear the rain hitting the roof of the trailer? You now we have a system coming in. Talking like we're going to get some freezing rain after a while. But the temperature's not supposed to get all that cold that we're just going to have freezing rain, so I guess that's a good thing. Right? I don't, I don't know how you have freezing rain when it's not supposed to be below freezing. <laughs> just a thought. Anyway, I, I think it might. It will. We'll see. We'll just see what happens anyway. Uh, we'll briefly say that it's 34 degrees outside right now, and the humidity outside is about 75%. And let's see, the... Thermometer says it's 68 degrees in here with a humidity of 51%. That's what it says right there. So, not too bad. Not too bad. I know it's, we got a little bit of a little bit of sweat on the windows here, but they are single pane windows. But uh, all in all, we haven't had that much uh, issue. We've we've been out here many times during you know, when it's raining, and we really haven't had. Uh, uh, any major condensation issues like, like we've read about uh, with other folks, you know, with their with their cargo trailers. So uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the windows we have. Maybe it's because of uh, the insulation we have. It's hard to say. But anyway. Uh, we are mostly done with the trailer. Mostly done. Mostly. Mostly done. Just little odds and ends things to do here and there. Like what? Here. Ah, we've got to hang one more fire extinguisher. We've got to hang the smoke alarms. We've got to hang some towel racks. Put some ventilation, more ventilation holes in the bed. Now I gotta look at my Before list. Before we put the mattress on. <laughs> oh, and the sound bar and the TV bracket. Yeah, which all those things are pretty simple. Not that difficult to do. Uh, we got a few other things uh, completed, which we'll show you a couple little things here in a little bit. But yeah, we got uh, two fire extinguishers. As you know, we have a we have a, a side door at the front, and then we have an RV door at the back, right in the middle. And so uh, we wanted to be certain that we had uh, had some ample safety issues, uh, safety precautions uh, built in. So we got two fire extinguishers, one that's close to each door in case we would ever need anything like that. So uh, anyway, I feel better about that. And we still have yet to get our uh, smoke detectors hung. And we're going to have two of those, one on each end of the trailer. And let's see, what else? I can't think of anything else. Uh, That's that we all we left to about. do. Yeah, yeah. Smoke detectors and fire extinguishers. And then, of course, uh, and Dev's been working already packing some of the clothes. Uh, we've got all kinds of storage underneath the bed, you know, the... Uh, the bed, we're utilizing all of the free storage space that we have underneath the uh, bed frame and uh, uh, for storage and things like that. And keep in mind also that there's also a 50 gallon freshwater tank underneath the bed, uh, underneath the bed frame. And uh, the only way it would fit, and we wanted a 50 gallon freshwater tank, the only way it would fit is if we ran it, uh, you know, uh, crosswise with the bed. So uh, it wouldn't fit on one side or the other. Uh, it just uh, wouldn't work. So anyway, we have uh, have that underneath the bed. And let's see. Uh, we'll point out a couple other little things here in just a little bit. But uh, moving day is... The 24th, next Sunday. This coming Sunday. Moving day is this coming Sunday. And um, what we're going to do once we get moved in, we're going to driveway surf for how many days? four days we're going to stay here uh, on the driveway at the house and this will give us time to get the house all squared away for the for the next tenant that'll be coming in so uh, we're going to utilize that time for that and then we'll be going out to one of the local campgrounds we've already got a spot picked out and once we get all set up out there we will uh, uh, show you another video of, uh, of the setup and how it's all set up and how everything works and um, then we'll just kind of take it from there. And then what are our future plans beyond that, dear? To totally not work on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a plan yeah. then on. It seemed like uh, just about every free moment we've had, we've been working on the trailer. I haven't been able to practice guitar like I want mm -hmm. to. And I've got a lot of big music gigs coming up this spring and summer. 
Uh, one of them we're excited about, I get to go to Spearfish, South Dakota and play for a biker rally of all things. No, not Sturgis. This is for another group, another motorcycle group. Uh, they call themselves the Retreads. And uh, I did a show for them last summer at their rally, and they had that in St. Joseph, Missouri. And so we get to go to Spearfish, South Dakota this year uh, towards the end of July. We haven't decided if we'll take the trailer with us or not. It all depends if I'm still working my part-time job or, or not. Uh, if we took the trailer, we'd want to take our time and not just run straight up there with the trailer. So uh, we might uh, just go up there for the week and, uh, and get a hotel up there and then come back. So we're, we're still, we still don't know exactly what we're going to do about that. But other things that we plan on doing, we're going to continue on with a travel vlog. We're going to take you with us and show you several things about around this area here in northwest Arkansas. There's so many things to see. Uh, and we're going to be spending most of our time in close to home all through the spring and summer. And then we'll head out uh, October-ish towards the... Uh, towards the uh, Gulf Coast, and then we're going to meander along the Gulf Coast. So we'll have lots of things to show you. Uh, we'll be able to show you the local attractions here. We've got War Eagle Cavern. We've got many attractions in the uh, Eureka Springs area. We've got the Ozark National Forest. We've got the White River to show you. Um, We've got Crystal Bridges, which Crystal is Bridges. an art museum in Bentonville. And we have awesome, totally awesome bike trails that we'll take you on. Oh, yeah. The bike trails are absolutely fantastic here. We In Northwest Arkansas, they have dedicated paved bike trails. You can literally ride on your bike all the way from Bella Vista, Arkansas to the other side of Fayetteville. We have yet to do that. We have yet to do that. <laughs> That's a 35-mile trip yeah, one it's way. A, it's a 35-mile, actually it's a little further than that. We're going to build up to that. Yeah, we'll build up to that. We will. We're we'll not get there to work yet. And do it. No, we're not that. No, no not anywhere close. But we'll take you along the bike trail, and, and this bike trail does not run along a road. It's not a little strip along the side of a main road. This is a bike trail that's off the beaten path, and it's all paved. A beautiful surroundings. You travel through beautiful areas. Actually, uh, last season I saw a bobcat along the drive. The, uh, the along the trail. trail. It was pretty yeah. awesome <laughs> to see that. But the thing about uh, the bike trail is you're far away from cars. You have to cross roads now and then. Um, but we like the idea that we're not having to ride on the street. Um, because but they're, cars, they're working on that. A lot of them are actually building through tunnels, which takes you yeah. under the highway. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. Is, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, they started changing a lot of those where you don't actually have to cross the busiest roads. We actually now have tunnels that go under and come back out on the other side. So it's cool. So lots of things to, to do and lots of things to show you. And then, of course, when we start our trip south. So what we'll we're saying is um, please continue watching. Yeah. We appreciate all of the subscribers that we have. And... Um, Hope we get more, but um, we're not going to be boring all summer, I, I don't think. <laughs> no, we're going to be doing stuff. We're going to be doing stuff. And that's the thing, too, folks. This trailer, we didn't build this trailer to hibernate in this trailer. This trailer is mainly going to be here for when we are ready to go to sleep at night, you know. And that's basically what it's going to be for. And eat breakfast. <laughs> and But there will be times when we cook outside. So, so you know... Uh, uh, our living room is going to be the great outdoors uh, of this immediate area and the areas that we're planning on visiting because all the parks that we plan on visiting will either be next to a river, a lake, a stream. Um, they'll be in wooded areas where there'll be lots of shade trees and things like that. So we're going to be doing a lot of kayaking, bicycling, and it's all part of uh, spending our retirement years uh, getting some health back that we've lost over the years, uh, losing some weight on my part. I'm a big dude. Uh, even after I reach my goal, I'll still be a big dude. But, um, <laughs> but you know, this is our plan, and we're going to take you along, and we're hope hoping we can show you some things that you haven't seen on other YouTube channels. So that's what uh, that's what our plan is. Anyway, let me show you a couple of quick things here, right quick, and then we'll uh, we'll shut her down. Let me spin this around here. Um, let's see. First, let me zoom in. I think I can do it from here. I want to show you the curtain that Deb made. Yeah, see that curtain right down there? Now behind that curtain is where the washing machine is, right over there. Yeah, the washing machine is right there. Uh-huh, <laughs> there's the washing machine. Now, also uh, show them your other curtain here that you just finished there, the privacy curtain between the uh, bed and the bathroom. Yeah, see how that... Uh, 
you know, we made that there. I am going to change that a little bit. I'm going to cut the uh, track back a little bit because I don't like the way it comes over and hides some of my trim work right there. And then uh, when we do pull the washing machine over, let me see if I can get over here and show you this. There is it. Well, I can't hardly show you here. But point at it, dear. Point where it's at. Yeah, there's a faucet right there that we plumbed into the end of that wall. So when we slide the washing machine over to do laundry, we simply uh, tie it into that and then the drain drains right into the shower. And uh, then, of course, uh, over there where Deb's standing, that's where the outside door is. And down, down there close to her feet is where the uh, uh, fire extinguisher will be mounted, right over there. And then we have another fire extinguisher right down there. You can see that one right there, and it's next to this door. As you can see, we went ahead and got the trim done around the uh, door windows. So Deb could go ahead and hang her Roman shades there. So we've got it done here and also at the side door up front over there as well. In addition to that, we went ahead and put some hooks up here, uh, right there, and they're on at the end of each shelf. And there's one, you know, one over there that Deb was just showing you. Uh, of course, one on this end, uh, one over here, uh, one right there, and uh, let's see, over over there, and right there, and there, and there. And what we'll be doing when we're traveling, when we're transporting the trailer from one place to the next, then we will use the bungee cords and stretch them across in, uh, I need to zoom that back uh, as far as it'll go anyway. But anyway, we will use bungee cords for those, but when, but when those are not in use, of course, the bungee cords will be put away. Let's see, anything else? Oh, right here, yeah. Uh, those wooden crates, I went ahead and uh, we got another one and I cut them in half so we could have a little cubby hole on each side to put our phones and tablets and things like that in. And, uh, and that's, that's mine right there. And this is Deb's on her side of the bed right here. And, uh, and here's Deb's spice rack. Uh, we got that uh, mounted just the other day. And uh, I'm surprised she doesn't have any spices in it. They're all in the, I'm still cooking in the house. Aha. Uh -huh. And then, of course, here's uh, the wine glass rack that we hung uh, just above the bar right here. There's the wine glass rack that we got up right there. Let's see. And those glasses are acrylic. Yeah, the glasses are acrylic. They're not glass. <laughs> They're acrylic. And let's see. Anything else I need to show right quick? The Revishel. Oh, yeah, the Revishel. Let me slide this back right here. And we want to thank um, uh, one of our viewers... You know, in one of our videos, we talked about how we were uh, going to custom build a, a drawer that slid out here so we'd have special compartments for uh, pots and pans, uh, our George Foreman grill, and things like that. But uh, one of our viewers said, go down and check out the Revis shelf, and we did, and uh, we uh, were so happy that, uh, that he mentioned that. So uh, we want to thank that viewer. But this is going to work out fantastic for us right here. And we went ahead and mounted the uh, the cabinet door on it. Went ahead and bought the kit where you can mount the cabinet door uh, on, on the shelf itself rather than have it mounted on the hinges. And uh, we just thought that would work a whole lot better. Now the particular kit that we got was around $100. And then I think the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the kit to mount the... Uh, the the uh, door on it was another 16 or 17 dollars if i remember we got it at lowe's but they have them at lowe's and home depot and you can order them off of amazon and they come in various sizes depending on the size of your cabinet so anyway that's uh oh and deb went ahead and mounted uh these straps here to hold the refrigerator shut we still have to come up with some way to secure our our doors so they won't uh you know they won't come open when we're going down the road and then of course we got this set of drawers right here so we got to figure out a way to keep them from coming out and we're still you know that's one thing you didn't have on the list we still got to mount our uh, our handles our pull handles which is no big deal <laughs> okay but anyway i guess that's about it what 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 oh the c word I don't think it's going to bother anybody that you said the C word. I, uh, if, if you think that's bad, folks, you ought to play uh, uh, cards with her when, when it doesn't go well for her. I, I, I do like playing cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, canasta, hand and foot, car, uh, games like that. But anyway, 
uh, the word, the C word is nothing compared to when things don't go well, well with her playing cards. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. That's about it. Oh, I, I didn't point out the little curtain down here uh, in front of the, uh, this is where the kitty litter box is for our baby Delilah. And uh, so she made a curtain for that too. So uh, I think that's about it. As far as you know, is that about it? Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and cut it off right here. And uh, we'll be uh, shooting another video here, uh, you know, in a few more days. What we'll do is we'll spend our first night on the driveway, and then we'll probably shoot a video the next morning and let you know how it went overnight that night. All right? So anyway, we're going to say goodbye for now. This is Bill and Deb with I, Ryan Tiny House Adventures saying... Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Yeah. You all take care. Bye-bye now.